This is a, for a smaller representation of his own defense, right? He sticks here, the defenders. Right? On a bigger field, maybe more wide apart, spread apart, right? But what a lot of the Americans, even the English, sometimes the Germans, a lot, right? They, they get, they're taught to get open and they come into the press trap because they think this is open space and they, they receive in this space and then they get pressed from every angle, right? So as you check down, right? Not only do I want the right mechanics, like when we saw in Cabela, whatever we're doing, Shkandinia, right? But you want your right positioning. So as I check into this defense, I'm gonna stop here and receive here, halfway between these two players, right? There's a place I can go where they're weak, where their zone is weak, right? I can come to here, receive from all angles, right? I come back this way, receive. Then on the outside, in the half space, right? I can receive outside the zone and then go into it. So I'm leaving that space open to attack, right? Likewise, this space is weak too. Anytime any of these players move, let's say this guy moves forward, he goes forward to the ball, right? I can also attack the space he left because the ball doesn't come directly into me. I'm the tercero, I'm now the third man. It's not a third man run, it's a third man positioning. I'll go this way and then back into me and I still have the space to attack. All right, again, the front of the zone. All right? As I'm checking down, I'm checking down to weakness, the front of the zone. Now, if pressure goes onto the ball, I'm gonna step in front of the pressure and play. All right, so not only do you have to know what your mechanics are, you have to know what your positioning is. And these are dynamic positions. So rather than positional play where you hold your position, this is functional play where you optimize your position.